I'm Alexis Doty with F22VideoSolutions.com. I'm here today to give you part one of a three-part series, some really good stuff on the agenda. I've been asked by multiple people, how can I videotape my child's game? Not that I wouldn't love to shoot everyone's kid's games, but some of you will want to take this challenge on yourselves. So what's on tap for today? How to shoot your kid's game and what you need to know to get started. All right, let's get rolling. I'll break it down into three main parts, the camera, the tripod, and the accessories needed to get started. First, let's talk cameras. There are tons out there to choose from. Do you want just a video camera? Or are you thinking a two-in-one, like a standard DSLR camera that has both picture capabilities and video as well? So you can get a video camera or a photo camera. There are pros and cons to each of those. Please look to your own needs and find what best meets those important to you. I don't want to go to specific models today. They change all the time, but I will get into a couple brands. Definitely Google what you're thinking about and read the reviews, not just from one store, but multiple stores. I can save you a little bit of time and research in that I can suggest to you to go to two big stores that are out there. There's B&H and Adorama, both headquartered in the Big Apple, a fun outing if you have an entire day to burn in New York City. However, you don't need to go there to visit them as they each have a large on online store filled with products and reviews by professionals. And they have great add-on recommendations as well when you order your camera through them for additional items to buy. Even if you don't need them, check it out and see what batteries they recommend for your purchase and other goodies that you can save for later. I would highly recommend finding a camera that has an SD slot. I would not recommend a mini DV or compact flash cards as those are either hard to find or very expensive to get since most likely your computer at home is already ready for an SD media source. Do not get a camera that only records internally. I don't suggest that. A decent DSLR camera will currently range in price from 400 on up. Definitely look for high definition recording speeds so you can shoot the game and holiday photos too. The big names are Canon and Nikon, kind of like Coke and Pe Pepsi, Mac and PC. They are people that are adamant about which brand they know, like, and trust. Me, I have Nikons, Canons, and a Panasonic camera as well. You can also look for other trusted names such as Sony and JVC. What I bought fit my needs at the time, I bought them. Check out the features and reviews to help guide you, as well as the people working in the stores if you happen to go to a camera store. Okay, I can't talk about cameras without mentioning microphones too. DSLRs have come a long way, but right now they don't have an easy microphone slot for on every single one of them. So definitely check on the specifications if they have a microphone slot. But video cameras come equipped with an internal microphone, which is a huge benefit when recording the announcer, as well as all the sound effects, grunts, ball volleys, and cheers that you're gonna be recording. A quick plug for one of my go-to cameras for sporting events. I own a Canon Vixia. Check it out. It has several st styles and they start around 300 and definitely go up from there. They're small, lightweight, and easy to operate with several preset modes and do most of what the big cameras do in an economical version. Look for one with optical image stabilization. That helps when you're holding, hand holding a camera for that length of time, it will stabilize the image, which is great since we're talking about sports with lots of action and moving around. So this is just in case you ha don't have a tripod, you're in the bleachers and it doesn't fit or you're in a really tight spot. So that brings me to my second suggestion, a tripod. I highly recommend a tripod. Sticks, we sometimes call them in the industry. Your videos will be so much easier on the eyes to watch without having to worry about that wobble that you have if you're holding it yourself for the whole entire game. And believe me, you are going to get tired holding that camera the whole entire time. First, let me say you get what you pay for in this product line. I have three different price points for my three tripods I own, and you definitely can see which one I spent the most money on. Looks like you can find a decent tripod from roughly $80 on up. Be careful going below that price as the tripods may become very cheaply made under that price point. And of course, there are tons of different variables, but as long as you can get your, your camera on the tripod, you're good to go. 
Lastly, we'll cover accessories, your SD card, what you're recording onto, the batteries, most essential, and the carrying case. SD cards, the only device that I record onto. They don't sell them in multi-packs like 12 batteries where you can get them all together. You can only find them one or two at a time. Pick up more than one though, I, I'm suggesting. Yes, you can reinitialize it and we'll cover that again in one of our future videos. But make sure you have at least two or three for rotations and always bring a spare in your camera bag because just like anything else, you can get a dud and you don't want that to happen on the game where your son or daughter has their MVP moment or the save the day play in it. You can easily find SD cards anywhere. Gosh, you can even find them at the drugstore these days. But you'll find better deals on pricing and better quality cards if you go to a seller like Amazon.com. But wherever you buy a camera, I strongly recommend adding to your cart a carrying case. It is so much easier not to forget the SD cards and the batteries if you have them already charged, in the bag, ready to go. Because of course, these days we are all super busy and you just wanna grab that camera and go to that game. So let me tell you that from your kid's coach to the grandparents all the way across the country, they will continually thank you for recording the games. Some might come to expect those video recordings. I hope that covers what you need to start this adventure. We are here to help you. If you need help or want some advice or just don't want to put up with all that hassle, give us a shout and we're here for you to help provide resources and solutions. I hope this helps. Stay focused, keep shooting, and good luck. See you on the next video where I'll cover how to shoot the game and then we'll move lastly on how to get it up on YouTube or other sharing sites to invite your entire team and family members, both near and far, to watch the game. You know, you got this. <laughs>